Fast CCO 20-second flow parameters are available when monitoring with the CCO patient cable connected to the Hemosphere SwanGans module and PA pressure signal connected to the Hemosphere monitor and pressure smart cable. To set up the SwanGans catheter with Fast CCO 20-second flow parameters on the Hemosphere advanced monitoring system, insert the SwanGans module into the monitor. The module will click when properly engaged. Then, press the power button to turn on the Hemosphere monitor. All functions are accessed through the touch screen. From the Continue Same Patient or New Patient screen, enter patient data and press the Next button to continue. Select the Invasive Monitoring Mode button on the Monitoring Mode selection window and touch the Proceed to Setup button to begin monitoring. Attach the thermistor and thermal filament SwanGAN CCO catheter connections to the patient CCO cable. Connect the monitor connection end of the pressure cable to the Hemosphere monitor. Connect the primed pulmonary artery true wave pressure sensor to the pressure cable. Touch the zero and waveform icon located on the navigation bar or through the clinical tools menu or press the physical zero button directly on the pressure cable and hold for three seconds. Select the PAP option of pressure sensor being used next to the display port of the connected hemosphere pressure cable. Level the stopcock valve to the patient's phlebostatic axis position according to the instructions for use. Remove the cap and open the stopcock. Press and hold the physical zero button directly on the pressure cable for at least three seconds or touch the zero button located on the screen. When zeroing is complete, a tone sounds and the message zeroed appears with the time and date. The zero button LED will stop blinking and turn off once zeroing is completed successfully. Confirm stable zero pressure and turn stopcock so that the sensor is reading patient intravascular pressure and replace non-vented cap. The zero and waveform screen enables the user to output the pressure waveform to a connected patient monitor. Plug the pressure out cable into the rear panel of the monitor at the pressure out port. Connect the desired pressure signal plug into the compatible patient monitor and Edwards PX1800 cable. Once the PA pressure is zeroed and the intravascular pressure signal is present, the patient monitor tab on the hemosphere monitor will blink. Zero the patient monitor. Confirm that a value of zero millimeters of mercury is displayed on the patient monitor. Then touch the Confirm button on the Patient Monitor tab of the Zero and Waveform screen on the Hemosphere Monitor. Touch the Transmit Pressure Waveform icon to begin pressure signal output to the patient monitor. A setup complete message will be displayed when the live waveform is being transmitted to the connected patient monitor. When the system is properly connected, Touch the Start Monitoring icon to begin CO monitoring. The CO countdown timer will appear on the Stop Monitoring icon. After approximately 5 to 12 minutes, when sufficient data has been obtained, a CO value will appear in the parameter tile. With Hemosphere, you have the option of choosing the fast CCO 20-second flow parameters that provide cardiac output and stroke volume updates every 20 seconds. The 20-second parameters will display and continue to update every 20 seconds once the CO countdown timer has finished and sufficient time averaging data is obtained. The 20-second flow parameters utilize a fusion algorithm combining thermal dilution and PA contour analysis, giving you insights into your patient's hemodynamic status 70% faster than thermodilution-derived CCO and only available on the Hemosphere Advanced Monitoring Platform.